Hi, hello everyone. This is a video explaining about retrograde massage in manual edema mobilization. What is retrograde massage? Retrograde massage is a type of massage technique that can help disperse edema and encourage blood flow in the hand. It consists of manually moving fluid from the tips of the finger back towards the heart to be reabsorbed into the bloodstream. It can help in the movement of the hand. The purpose of doing the retrograde massage is to reduce the swelling and increase the movement of the extremity. When the lymphatic system is not working properly, there will be a limb build up and resulting in swelling. Usually, limb moves through limb vessel to limb nodes. When the limb nodes is congested, the lymphatic system will disrupt and it will cause the lymph fluid to stop draining and build up. How does this retrograde massage work? This massage could help to improve the flow of the lymph fluid. Massaging consists of two phases which is clearing and reabsorption. Clearing is to help moving the limb through tissue, while reabsorption is to help to move the limb to the limb nodes. According to Millerhan 2023, by using manual edema mobilization, the light pressure will help the limb vessel to contract and move build up fluid through the lymphatic system. And according to Rexton 2016, the massage will also stimulate the contraction of lymphatic channel. The massage will open the lymphatic capillaries and encourage them to permit the entry and transport of fluid. The indications for retracted massage are acute edema, distal right diffraction with edema, and subacute swelling after surgery. Retracted massage can be contraindicated for patients who have an open wound, fragile skin, and pitting edema. The item needed to do retrocket massage is lubricant and glove, and the duration is between 5 to 15 minutes or when the edema is subside. What are the precautions of doing the retrocket massage? First, remove any watch or jewelries before starting the procedure. Do not use any glove if the patient has latex allergy and respect the patient's pain. Moving on to the procedure of doing the retrocket massage. First, start with the affected hand position above the heart level, and then apply the lubricant to the swollen part of the hand. Start massaging upward from the tips of the fingers towards the knuckle and onto the wrist, which is from distal to proximal. Continue massaging upwards onto your forearm and repeat the movement. First, we need to make sure that the hands are placed above the heart level and remove wash and the wrist before starting the procedure. the lubricant to the swollen area. Massage from distal to proximal. And use your thumb or make a C-shape using your hand to massage the area. The mistakes that we need to avoid in retrograde massage are does not remove wash or jewelry before starting the procedure. Does not place the hand above the heart level. Does not respect the patient's pain. And using the wrong massage technique to the patient. Study for me et al. at 2017 on Journal of Hand Therapy entitled Effectiveness of Edema Management Technique for Subacute Hand Edema. The systematic review stated that MEM is a method to reduce subacute and chronic hand and arm edema, and it has been adapted from the principle of manual limb drainage, which is used to treat post-cancer lymph edema. Next, according to scientific clinical article entitled Changes in Edema, Pain, or Range of Motion following manual edema mobilization, a single case design study by Victoria et al. stated that MEM effectively decreased edema and providing statistical support for the efficiency of MEM in decreasing such edema. Howard and Krishnagel at 2001 from the article entitled The Use of Manual Edema Mobilization for the Reduction of Persistent Edema in the Upper Limb stated that the use of the MEM treatment regimen has been demonstrated to be effective in reducing persistent edema in the patient with trauma to the upper limb. The study of manual edema mobilization and effective technique for reducing swelling and inflammation by Chris Poproski on 2023 it mentioned that MEM enhances circulation and lymphatic flow in the affected area and promoting the removal of excess fluid and reduction of the inflammation. The therapy is useful for treating conditions that leads to subacute and chronic edema. 
and is designed to patient with enter empathic system, ensuring that stimulation of lymphatic structure will effectively eliminate the excess lymph trapped within the increased TTM. Lastly, a randomized clinical control study compared the effect of modified manual edema mobilization treatment with traditional edema technique in patients with infection of the distal radius by Karen et al. It recommends that the use of this treatment for subacute edema in the rehabilitation of hand patient as an efficient tool for decreasing subacute edema.